welcome back to the channel, Art at Heart. Um, so today's craft is these lovely earrings. Here, I'll try and get a little closer. Um, these are made out of tin, well, I guess it's not tin, but aluminum cans. Um, so any like soda pop cans you can find. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Oh look, it's my awful hand. Well, they don't look completely awful today. Anyway, here's a heart for you because you are my hardest and I love you guys. Now onto the actual craft. So we're gonna be making earrings, like I said, out of old pop cans. I used the Arizona tea can and I got some of these holders from Michaels. The one in plastic is just a leftover one that I had saved. Always worth reusing. Anyway, here's the Arizona tea can. Um, you want to remove the pop tab and make sure that it's cleaned out and that there's no soda left in it. Well, in this case, tea. And then I got my box cutter and just kind of trimmed some of my favorite areas of the can, which included the flowers and the tree, I guess. And I kind of just made a big incision and got as much of it as possible and then you can throw away or recycle the rest of that can. Now, if you're a youngin, I would recommend to ask a parent to help you with the box cutting. And then this next step, you wanna take scissors and you kind of just shape it any way you like. I am going to start out with the circle shape. You could do a star, you could do a flower, um, but I'm gonna show you how to do a circle and kind of like an oval shape. Now you wanna make sure that you cut up, cut off, the words, all the sharp edges because you're gonna be wearing these on your face or near your face and you don't want any cuts because that's just not fun. And depending on what you're looking for size-wise, you can go bigger or smaller. It kind of just depends on your personal style, whether or not you want these to be a statement piece or kind of just subtle. Um, next, you're gonna find yourself a push pin. This is to make the hole for the jump ring to attach to your little earring piece. And you just go ahead and push that through using your fingers. Nice and easy. Um, sometimes it can be a little challenging if you're making this with kids, you might want the parent to do this. Just because poking yourself would not be fun. And then once you push uh, the push pins into the earrings, they kind of get a little warped, so you might want to readjust that, and you can just do that with your fingers. And now we're going to add the jump rings. Now I have pliers. They're not super necessary, um, but when you have fake nails like me, it makes it a little hard to open and close the jump rings. Um, but yeah, you can find these at Michael's or any craft store for the most part. And you separate the jump rings and then attach it to the earrings. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, sometimes you might have to attach multiple jump rings just to make sure that the earrings are facing the correct way. The process for putting on the jump rings for some reason took me surprisingly long, so I apologize for the length of this video, but for some reason getting it into the hole was just difficult. I hope you guys don't face the same issues, but just let me know in the comments. And this is what the finished product looks like. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, subscribe. This is Brianna signing out. And that's Pepper. <laughs> <laughs>